Mr. Thomas Laurent, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Please Thank uh, you. tell us about your company, Grupo LMNS. The full name is Laurent Martinez and Salas. And uh, we are the largest Mexican insurance broker and employee benefit consultant. We are privately owned. We are the third largest in the country. Have you grown the business? Yes, the business has grown from one individual to over 300. And from the insurance policy for a small Volkswagen Beetle to I cannot count how many, but many, many, many. Enough to support over 300 employees. We have our corporate office in the Polanco zone and uh, we also, well actually we have two corporate offices in that area in Mexico City and we have satellite offices in Mexico City to service some of our clients and the satellite offices we have three of them in the city to service those clients. We also have offices in the cities of Monterrey. Uh, it's a very large industrial city in the Republic of Mexico and Guadalajara. And Puebla, which is not that far from Mexico City, must be maybe 60, 70 miles away. And we have also offices in the city of Leon and Querétaro. We're looking into very soon office, uh, officing also in the city of Veracruz, which is a port on the Gulf of Mexico, and in Cancun, because uh, we require service there and we urgently need to open up an office. We are a multiple line insurance broker. We do all kinds of insurance. What is the fastest growing? Well, for uh, us, the fastest yeah. growing has been the motor insurance. The reason being is because we insure the companies that sell these cars, different large, both US and uh, overseas companies, and we insure them and we insure the vehicles they sell. Um, your son, Pablo Laurent, is here with us as well. Uh, Pablo, you're in charge of the international sales. Uh, is automobile insurance one of your primary products internationally? No, not exactly. It's property and casualty. However, we do insure some tourist autos that go within Mexican territory. And um, give us a sense of how extensive your operations are internationally. Internationally, the, our international division is comprised of approximately 32 people. They only do international business. We receive business from outside of Mexico, mostly from the United States. And uh, most of our, our, our staff are bilingual, some are trilingual. We speak Spanish, of course, English and French. Some speak Italian. How about the employee benefits area? Is that uh, an important area for the it, company? It is. It is a very important area in the company. Uh, we have a very, very large employee benefits division and this division services accounts in group life, group med medical, accident, and when we talk about this a little bit later, I will explain to you why pensions also. We have a very important actuarial consulting division and uh, this has to be, well, it doesn't have to be, it's not compulsory, but it's almost a must. For a Georgia company or a, a, another company from the southeast to uh, establish an operation in Mexico or elsewhere in South America, do they need to be aware of uh, employee benefit laws uh, different than those in the U.S.? Not only employee benefit laws, but I would like to mention that any company that wants to establish itself in Mexico has to be subject to the Mexican federal labor law. Can you protect a company um, in some way through insurance? Yes, yes. 
not through insurance, but you have to fund a private pension plan. So if you fund a private pension plan, all monies that are funneled to that pension plan are a tax deduction. Mexican Social Security plus the private pension plan have to be sufficiently attractive for the employee for him to hand in his resignation for a feat, all that leave pay that he was going to get, and had get his pension plan from Social Security and from the private fund tax exempted. So this is a way of encouraging foreign companies to come to Mexico? In a way, yes. And uh, this is going to change. The federal labor law has to be revised, has to be uh, overhauled because it's too old. It dates from the beginnings of the 20th century. And uh, it's really, it's very expensive to keep an employee that uh, doesn't live up to his expectations. Pablo Laurent, is there um, a similar uh, anachronistic aspect to property and casualty laws in Mexico? Well, not exactly, but some risks that uh, foreign companies going to do business into Mexico must be concerned about is are like a fire, earthquake, hydrometeorological perils such as flood, hurricanes, hail, rain. Uh, other risks that should be considered are crime, of course, kidnap and ransom, cargo, theft, and of course business interruption, consequently. Uh, has NAFTA benefited uh, Mexico and is Mexico's economy uh, doing comparatively well? Very, very much. It, uh, we have really opened up our Business is good in Mexico. Our economy is thriving. Pablo, uh, despite the risks, do you feel that this is a good time to be doing business in Mexico? Oh, of course, of course. Mexican people always welcome foreign investment in our country. What are the benefits of uh, belonging to uh, an organization like Assurex Global? If you compare Assurex Global to other world global international networks that is where you see the difference and the difference is in quality and the difference is in service and service is what it's all about and why do you see that difference in quality and why do you see that difference in service because other networks that have regional offices and have managers and accounts are referred to them. Well, these are the local employees tending to the accounts. In all of Assurex, you've got the owners tending to the accounts, servicing the accounts, meeting with the clients, holding their hands. That is an enormous difference. The client talks to the man or to the woman, to the man or to the woman. Nobody can provide better service than an Assurex partner. And why is that? Because we're very selective in inviting somebody to be a partner of Assurex. They have to be the best independent broker in their country or their region. We have a selection process. They have to pass through the selection process. And after they do, they're invited to join Assurex and they have to purchase equity in, in Assurex. So they have to have faith in Assurex. And I had this faith over 15 years ago. And Assurex is the best thing that could have happened to our firm. 